We're now going to look at the null value in PHP uh, and understand what it means and, and what it means for a variable to have a value of null. Um, and we'll also take a look at a function as well or a couple of functions that allow us to um, work with null values. So basically what null is, is it's a variable that um, either has been uh, assigned the constant null. So there's null basically looks like this as a constant. Um, we also have a null value if we have a variable that hasn't uh, been defined a value yet. So for in this example, um, name will be null. Um, and also we have a function in PHP called unset, which will remove the contents of a variable and it will be null. So we can say null unset name if name previously contained a value. So let's just play around with these three different um, different uh, scenarios. So I'm going to say name equals null. And then I'm going to come down here and I'm going to do a var dump, which again is extremely useful if we need to work out whether a value has a null value or not. Uh, not actually check if it has a null value, but determine whether it does. So we can uh, use the is null function, which we'll take a look at in just a moment. So I'm going to do a var dump on that and refresh. And you can see that this just says null. It will just come up with null. Now, if we were to say name is Alex, or in fact, let's just declare name, but not set a value to it. Um, we get exactly the same um, results. It just says null. So it's an undefined variable. So it hasn't had any value set to this. Um, we also can use unset. So if we were to bring back the string and then use unset on name and we var dump on name, we also will get a null value back. And again, it says undefined variable because um, technically now this has been unset and it contains null. So what we can actually do is we can check if um, something has been set or not using is null. So for example, if I say uh, name at the top of the page here and I say if, so I'm going to use an if statement here and I'm going to say is null name, uh, name equals Alex. And then down here, I'm going to echo name. So this might look a little bit confusing, but all we basically have is an if statement here. So we're checking the value that's returned from this is null function. We're passing in um, this, um, this name variable here just to check whether it's null or not. So we're basically passing this, this in. Um, so what we get back is if we get true back, um, we're going to... Um, uh, basically just set this name. Otherwise, we'll return false because this function returns true uh, if a var variable that we provide to it is null or false otherwise. So if we go ahead and uh, refresh the page now, we get Alex here. So we're still getting this notice because we have an undefined variable which we're actually passing in to check. Um, but regardless, we've actually uh, check this and set a value. Whereas if we d obviously didn't have this check, we would uh, we would just be echoing out something that wasn't set. So that's basically null values and the var dump um, the var dump function or language construct is extremely useful here because basically what it means is that we can check uh, the type. In this case, it's going to be a string of length four because we've defined this here now that we know that it's null and um, and that's it, we've output the value. So you'll come across null in, in certain circumstances. Um, now, null is a slightly confusing in the sense that sometimes it's mixed up with the Boolean value false, but in actual fact, this isn't true. Null is a constant, it's not a variable type. So it's not, um, it's not false, it's not zero. Um, so for example, we can check this. So let's just say var equals false and we'll say null equals null. So we'll say result equals um, var is equal to null. So we're doing a check if, if, if um, var is equal to null or not. And then we'll go ahead and we'll do a var dump on result. This is going to give us a true or false value back. So if we refresh, it says false here. So false does not equal null. Now, what if we use a double equals, which doesn't use type checking? Let's go ahead and see this as well. 
it says true. So this is a little confusing in the sense that it does actually uh, return true. So this will return true, um, but it will return false if we use type checking as well, because um, these two are of uh, essentially different types. So it's a little bit confusing, but it's fundamentally, um, you know, uh, not the same value. Um, it's, it would be exactly the same if we were to say um, does zero is, is zero equal to null and in this case we would get uh, true back as well um, but um, obviously if we were to say does zero absolutely with type checking equal null then uh, we would get back the value false because it doesn't um, so yeah I mean, it's a good thing to play around with, but it's uh, it's sort of fundamental to understand that null doesn't mean that a variable holds the value false.